Hey Taurus, Mariah here. I'm gonna go ahead and get into your end of the month reading. So hopefully all of you are settled in and comfortable. Uh, my cat Lucky is in the background and he's a little rambunctious today. So if he gets a little too crazy, he's getting put up in the room so he can take a nap. Because usually when he gets too crazy, he's sleepy. So let's get started. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. What do we have for my Tauruses? What do they need to know? What do they need to be aware of? What's happening between now and the end of June? One card, please. What do my Tauruses need to know? Okay, well, we got two. Ah! Okay, imagination wanted to come out. So we have autumn and fulfillment. So, the Ace of Cups in the regular Rider Waite Tarot is the Chalice Fulfillment card here in Autumn. Something major is happening for you this fall. It feels like this fall. This isn't a next fall. This is this fall. So I want to see what's happening for my Tauruses. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little quiet. Spirit's trying to tell me something. I'm just trying to listen in. Something's prominent, prominent in the fall, okay? It's like I'm hearing a message from spirit, but it's it's almost muffled. It's like I'm trying to channel, but it's muffled. But something's prominent. I don't know if there's a prominent opportunity, a prominent love connection, a prominent um, experience that's going to happen in the fall. So we have the fourth earth in the reverse coming out. What else is coming? Five of Wands in the reverse. Two of Swords in the upright, which is two of air in this deck. What else is happening for my uh, Tauruses? Nine of Fire, Nine of Wands. Last card, Spirit. Seven of Swords. I'm hearing exposure. Is that what's happening? Oh, okay. Thank you, Spirit. I get it now. I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm a little dense. And when Spirit tries to talk to me, I'm like, huh? Exposure. Something gets revealed. I don't take the Seven of Swords here in a bad light. Something gets revealed here. Something that you've been working hard for, something that you felt like you wanted to give up on, but kind of stayed in the space of head or heart. Do I let it go or do I keep holding on? Something gets revealed here in the fall about this. Is this an opportunity? Is this a lover's connection? What is this? I keep hearing exposed. Talk to me about the seven of error. I am using my mundane deck with this deck. I do not read it in reverse. So if a card pops out in reverse, I will flip it upright. I just at least like to be very transparent about that. So that way you guys don't think I'm doing anything hokey dokey <laughs> with the cards. Why is the seven of air here, spirit? For my Tauruses. Seven of air. Why is the seven of air here? Long awake. <gasps> holy, <gasps> holy shit. With the eight of, okay. Thank you. That's why I was hearing exposure. That's why I was hearing prominence. See something, like I said, spirit gives me some messages and I'm a little dense. 
we have the Seven of Swords, right? Clarified by the Strength, Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Coins. I looked at the bottom of the deck. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Coins. This is something that you wish for. This is something that completely fulfills you that's been long awaited. And in the fall, this gets exposed. But more so than that, It be how can I put this for you? It it's birth, but in its fullest potential. Who? Is, okay, okay, spirit. Let me give me a second. This is somebody. Maybe a specific Taurus. I don't know, but this is somebody that's been working hard at something, whether it's a business, a craft. Um, getting something off the ground, maybe even trying to take a relationship to the next level, or really wanting that fulfilling relationship all of your prayers manifestations your hard work all of your efforts have not gone unnoticed and with the strength card here on the seven of swords it's taken you a lot of strength because i can see that with the five of air in reverse it's taken you a lot of strength to keep going or fighting for something or trying to build something up that at times you wanted to give up on because you felt like it wasn't going to happen, it wasn't going to manifest, you didn't see how it was going to come to fruition. But in the autumn, this fall, which fall starts, what, mid-September, this comes until it's full as bloom. So say, say Taurus, if you've been working on a business or wanting to be an entrepreneur, or maybe start up that YouTube channel or that podcast, um, and you've been grinding at it, grinding at it, and you've been seeing slow growth, but, you know, slow growth is still progress. In the fall, that's where this fully blows up. Something, there's ex exposure. That's why I was hearing exposure. Something's getting exposed. So it's, holy shit. Congratulations. Congratulations, Taurus. Whatever you're doing now, something gets exposed. You get exposure for whatever you're doing. So if you're, holy, this is bigger than I thought. Okay. Um. Okay, thanks, Spirit. This feels like, for one of you Tauruses out there, or maybe multiple, something you've been working very hard on, trying to get it off the ground, really trying to build it up. Times you felt like you just wanted to let this go. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe it's just not going anywhere. It, will this really succeed, right? That two of air energy, head over heart. Do I keep persevering? But yes, you do. And yes, you did. Nine of wands, right? You kept persevering past this. What happens in the fall is whatever you're doing, it's the accumulation of all of your efforts coming to the light this fall. There's something that goes viral, that blows up, you get exposure, you get that contract, you get that deal, that relationship improves, you gain that relationship you want. Something about this blows up for you, Taurus. What the hell is this? It, 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 you're about to, when I tell you you're about to blow, especially with this ace of coins, either that opportunity comes right in that job and everything comes in right in in the fall or in the fall, whatever you've been working on blows up, but it blows up in a big way. Congratulations to you. But I'm hearing I'm not surprised. Spirit's not surprised. Spirit knew you could do this. Spirit's not surprised. Spirit's not surprised at all by this. I want to actually clarify this fulfillment card. Let's get a couple cards out on this. Why is fulfillment here, Spirit? Five of coins. Why is fulfillment here, Spirit? The hangman. Yep. Why is fulfillment here? Why is fulfillment here? I can't. Nine of wands again. Nine of Swords and the Four of, oh my gosh, Seven of Swords on the bottom, you didn't, and the High Priest is underneath, yeah, you, oh, okay, I'm sorry, sometimes I get overwhelmed, um, you know what, Taurus, you're very resilient, and you're very stubborn, I know, because my moon is in Taurus, this is the epitome of don't give up. You never know when that day comes, when it works out, or when you get that yes, or you get that approval, or you blow up. This is literally the epitome of that. Because the Nine of Wands to the Nine of, Nine of Swords, 
and the Four of Cups, not knowing when this is going to happen in your head about this, feeling like this opportunity is passing you by despite all the work and the diligence you're doing, despite all the effort you're putting in, right? It's just not going anywhere, the hangman. Putting in time after time, day after day, month after month, some of you even year after year of trying to get something off the ground and you're not seeing any results with the hangman. And for even for some of you, losing out financially, a financial loss because of whatever this is that you're, you're wanting to come, to come into fruition, but it, it just never manifested. But it does. And with the Seven of Swords and the High Priestess, you don't see this coming. Oh my gosh. I feel like well, I'm, I'm being taken aback because it's, because I can feel the energy of a Taurus just working relentlessly, trying to get something off the ground relent relentlessly, putting in their time, effort, and energy day in and day out, and just not seeing any re results or any fast results of something. But Taurus, this blows up in your face in the best way possible. And I love the fact that I have the Nine of Wands here twice, both upright, of course, because it's the fact that you stayed resilient. Your endurance and your stamina has taken you this far, and you didn't come this far just to get this far. You have to push on. You're so close. And it's okay to walk just for a moment. You know, you get tired, you get weary. But the fact that we're literally, um, well, we ought to still get into summer if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. But fall is not too far away. This blows, oh, I'm sorry, I'm on like cream and everything. Um, this blows up for you. Holy shit. Why is the nine of, nine of fire here? I am in total awe. Yep, the emperor. You stayed you stayed very stubborn to this. You stayed very resilient to this. You weren't giving up on this. You knew that this was for you. The lovers and the four of coins. Yep, you held on to it. You knew this was for you. The lovers here. You knew that this was for you. You knew that this situation was for you. This opportunity was for you. Even if you guys are dealing with a lover situation, that this connection was for you. But I'm more so feeling like this is in regards to an opportunity or some type of endeavor you're taking or some life path or even a career or going the entrepreneurial route you knew that this was for you and you never gave up with this four of coins you stayed very stubborn very bullheaded just like your, your sign with the emperor you didn't budge because you knew that that day would come one day and it's coming in the autumn oh my gosh i am amazed why is the two of air here? Three of swords and two of, wand, two of wands, yeah. Ten of swords, not knowing if this was gonna pan out. Do you still keep planning for this? Do you still keep waiting for this? Because the longer, longer time goes and you're trying to make a head out of a hard decision, this is something that you truly want, you can see yourself doing, but it's not producing any results. Do I cut this off? Or seven of coins, wow. Seven of coins right underneath. Do I still keep investing? Do I cut this off or do I still keep investing? But I see that you still kept investing. And this blows up huge. Why is the fourth earth here? Ace of swords. And the two of cups. And the United Cups. It's almost a sense with the four of Earth being in reverse. It kind of goes back to this. It, it feels like at a certain point, you either tried to let this go, wanted to let this go, or maybe thought about, okay, maybe I need to let this go. But the thing here is, this two of Cups, whatever this is that's about to blow up for you in the fall, and I mean, blow the F-U-C-K up. You've always known that this was meant. Lovers and the two, you've always known that this was your path. This was your destiny. This was meant for you to create. Whether it's a talent, 
um, a career, an opportunity, a business, whatever this is, you always known that this was meant for you to create. You've always known. And you've always, with the Knight of Cups, gave to it, poured your love into it. Spoke life into this. You spoke so much life into whatever this is that it had no choice to blow up. And I see it doing so here in the autumn. Wow. This is beautiful, Taurus. I just want to say congratulations to you. This is, this is amazing. And not only will you be changed forever by this, but Taurus, this energy right here, you're gonna look back and say, I don't regret any of those nights, long nights, early mornings, still trying to push through and persevere through tears, feeling like a failure, feeling like you won't get this done, feeling like you can't accomplish this but never giving up, you will look back at every single moment, every single night and say, thank God I stayed with this. Cause when I, I just can't imagine, I can't tell you how transformative, how transformative, there we go, this is. Taurus, I love you and all the success in the world best be bestowed you i think that's how the saying goes right um but i wish you all the, the luck and success here on this congrats congrats all right bye